Hello, Chathew. Good evening. Welcome, one and all. How's it going? You having a good one? I hope you are. Hope all is well. I see Orlanti is in the chat. I would like you all to please play, please play, please pay homage to your, <laughs> your leader and heretofore crowned monarch. The wealthiest among you, well, the earningest among you. The aristocracy of this channel. <laughs> no, well, sort of. So, according to Orlantia, they said in chat um, that they they bet Max on the predictions all the time, but that they have uh, they have went from seven hundred thousand points down to a hundred thousand points and then back up to four fifty, which the math does not compute but uh i got my twitch wrapped email my streamer twitch wrapped email i haven't actually received the like twitch viewer email yet but uh the the twitch streamer email which i'm just trying to find in my email account so that i can there it is the streaming recap apparently this year I was live for 991 hours, which is actually less than last year. Last year, I was up like 1,100 hours. Uh, viewers of this channel watched 78,509 hours. My most watched categories were... Can you can you guess? I'll I'll give it to you. In the last year, what were my most watched categories? Do you think? In order from most to least. Do you? Was number two. Breath of the Wild was number two. Mass Effect Legendary was uh, was number one. Yes. Breath of the Wild was number two. Kingdom Hearts 3 was number three. Metal Gear Solid 5 was number four. And Chrono Trigger was number five. Apparently at some point during the last year, we had a peak of 339 people active on the channel. But uh, but here's <laughs> here's where things go weird. Um, so the pride laugh emote, which I blame is Zandai for specifically, has apparently been used in chat three thousand thirteen times, more than any of my own emotes. It's good, I guess. I guess. All viewers, all viewers over the course of the last year accumulated 19.41 million kibble. So that's, uh, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, 19.41 million kibble were accumulated across all users of the channel in the last year. But, uh, but Orlantia... Orlantia, in particular, stands out above all others. <laughs> As Orlantia has single-handedly accumulated the most channel points here in the channel. Do you want to know how many channel points, how many kibble Orlantia accounts for on their own? Of the 19.41 million, Orlantia accounts for, single-handedly accounts for 
3,066,064 channel points accumulated. So, Orlantia, you, you single-handedly account for, what, 15% of all channel points accumulated on this channel in the last year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Ah! Everything okay over there? Yeah, That's great. That's very good to know. All right. Is it counter safe? Yeah, okay. And then and then of uh of the five most used emotes on this channel. The the five most used emotes on this channel, only two are my own. I don't know what that one is. There's a, f a guy laughing. There's a guy laughing face. Which I see in here all the time, but I don't know what that emote is. But any anyhow, the uh the the most used emotes on the channel are Pride Laugh, Kappa, Lull, that's right. Pride Laugh, Kappa, and Lull are three of the top five. And then the, uh, the Heart and the Golden, this one, these two emotes, are the two emotes of my own that are used most frequently. Uh, although, I'm certain, I have no doubt in my mind that Disapprove will overtake everything else in the channel. Wasn't it decently well into the year when I was looking at all, hey, all the emotes TQ made me? Yes, but that was, that was round two. The first round of emotes has been here for a while. It was just the second emote drop. And now I've got a bunch more available emote slots, so there's going to have to be a third emote drop in the not-too-distant future. Wait, is that guy Total Biscuit? Ah, uh, That's unfortunate. Find a new emote. <laughs> is Total Biscuit an asshat? Well, it was. Total Biscuit is not with us anymore. But he was an asshat. Um... So anyhow, that's going to get me hate mail on YouTube. That 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 kind of statement is going to get me uh get me hate mail. Um <laughs> He was a complicated individual, let's say. All right, what else have I got to talk about? I finally, finally got my analog pocket working on the TV with a controller. Um, that's cool. It looks rad. It's amazing. It's very cool. Um, the it, it took me a lot of effort to get it working on the TV, though. More effort than I would have anticipated a console would take. I had to update both the console and the dock from their base firmware which required, independently of each other, required a, a micro SD card, which thankfully I just had a micro SD card kicking around the house, and also required a, a USB key. So I, I, had to, I had to do firmware updates on both in order to get anything working at all. But now that I have, it looks awesome. And I was able to pair a PS4 controller with it, so it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, I, I played a little bit of Golden Sun just to test it. Picture looks great. Looks amazing. Even on a 4K TV, it looks really good. So, 
that's quite impressive. And uh, I'll, I haven't actually played it in handheld mode yet, so we'll have to do that at some other point. But it's it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, what else have we got to talk about? I watched the I watched the new episode of Hawkeye, which the internet at large is higher on than I was. But I will say. I will say that uh, the the final reveal of the episode got me real good. I was very hype about one specific thing in the episode. I know Sam Wong thought it was pretty bad. I just thought it was, like, not much happened. And I'm not as big, like, I don't know, Florence Pugh is a very good actress. And she's doing, she's clearly having fun doing her thing. This time, like, as as Yelena. But the whole, like, chatting over a pot of KD just went on forever and didn't actually accomplish anything narratively. It was just a lot of filler. But the reveal at the end of the episode was great. It was exactly what I wanted. Anyhow, I guess we'll see. We'll see how the final episode comes together. I I I do hope that they don't whiff the ball. I'm hoping I'm hoping for you know, a decent resolution rather than a a Loki episode 6. But uh but I've enjoyed it so far. I'd watch more. I I I find myself thinking about it a little bit and I I almost wish it's very clear to me that each of these series is has been like has been written like a movie that they then split over six episodes instead of trying to tell a like season long narrative. And, uh, I, I just, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I wish these felt more organically like series. I don't mind if they take their time or have, like, filler episodes or diversions or whatever. That's not a big deal to me in the context of, like, a 13-episode a series um, that just feels more organically like a long-form narrative. But these six-episode series, like, they're only, they're only, like... There's only like four to five hours worth of content there. And when you when you're getting these like long diversionary episodes or they're just stuffing them full of like stuff is there's just this weird pacing thing with them where it's like, oh, this should have either been twice as long as it is or two hours. <laughs> And, and like, not in between. The in between is very bad. I, I don't know. I, I think the, there's a mistake being made on the writing of these series where the, like, the two, two episodes per, like, it's, they're just three act films where two episodes are committed to each act. Sometimes they don't even do that. Sometimes it's the first two episodes are act one. The middle three episodes are Act 2, and then the final episode is Act 3. And, uh... <laughs> and it's just, like, that doesn't make for a good, satisfying television narrative. I want... I want either be more deliberate and tell a season-long story and and don't feel like you're just trying to cram it full of stuff and just let things happen... <laughs> <laughs> or just just make it a movie. Just make it a movie. Each every every Marvel every Marvel series so far has been really severely compromised by its format. I think is where I would go. The the even even Hawkeye, which I am enjoying immensely. Like, I am so in on Hawkeye that one bad episode or one less than stellar episode is not going to throw me off the series, unless it's the last one. 
but uh, but like every every single Marvel series so far has been seriously harmed by its format, with maybe the sole exception of WandaVision, which was nine episodes long. But even it was trying too hard to just be a Marvel movie. But WandaVision, fundamentally, WandaVision worked, right? Like, WandaVision fundamentally worked. It had some bumps, but it fundamentally worked. And uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, as much as I like a lot of the things it did, it was just not, like, not very coherent. And Loki was just bad. <laughs> Loki was just not good at all. Uh, and uh, and Hawkeye has been pretty good so far, but I just like would really really like them to have either just done a Hawkeye movie and trimmed the fat, or made it made the series twice as long and really dug in, and and uh, it feels like it's been harmed by having done either one, like not having done either of those, and it's unfortunate. But so far, so far, I still think Hawkeye is the best series they've done. We'll see next week <laughs> how it nets out, I guess. But uh, but so far, I'm enjoying it. I mean, yeah, Orlantia has it. It's the best series because Pizza Dog is the goodest Avenger, which, yes, 100%. Per Pizza Dog is perfect. Sam Wonk is voicing a complaint in chat saying, I feel a lot more negatively about the way it adopts the Fraction Hawkeye to get buy-in after the past two episodes because it feels like that stuff, which really worked, was deployed to get my buy-in for their, well, whatever this actually is. Which, uh... <laughs> which I get. Like, that makes sense. I don't know, I still like the aesthetic. But, yeah, the last two episodes have kind of diverted away from it. I don't know, I'm, I'm still expecting... I'm my my great fear at this point. So after last week's episode, I was very much like, "Oh, Jack is." It, it makes more narrative sense for Jack to be the big bad here, and uh, and so Jack will probably be the big bad. And this, like everything else to this point, has been a, a misdirect. And then, and then this week, things changed again. And, uh, so now, now I have a grand fear about what's going to happen in the last episode. So I, I, I worry that they're going to try and put another, yet another twist into the last episode of a particular bent. And, uh, and I do not relish the thought of them going that way. So we'll see. We'll see. You think they're not going to wrap anything up at all, Sam Wonk? I, I hope not. Like, like, I hope that you are not right, is what I mean. I hope that you are wrong. You're probably right, but I hope that you are wrong. I don't mind them leaving this, like, I don't mind them leaving it on a, like, stu tune in for season two. I'm fine with that. As long as they just don't use the last episode to crack open something huge. Right? Like, leave some plot threads unresolved, that's fine. But, but at least, like, <laughs> they gotta tie up the basics of this season, right? Orlandia says, if you wrap things up, how do you get a season two? Like every other TV show in the universe forever, there are a couple of plot threads they can resolve in this. Look at Loki, they do not have to. Yes, they do! Loki was bad! <laughs> Loki was very bad because of what they did in the last episode. It ruined, fundamentally destroyed everything that came before it. Um, but uh, the like, 
you can resolve core plot threads. The watch is the big one. Like, resolve the watch. Resolve Echo's story. Get Clint home. <laughs> Having made a new friend in the form of, of Kate Bishop. Those are all, like, fine resolutions to this season. And then, like, explode... Let there be a conflict for season two that's that's teased in the final episode episode. And the echo the echo story doesn't necessarily have to be stay tuned. The echo story can fundamentally resolve in this season. <laughs> where it's like Echo comes to realize the folly of what she's doing and changes sides and has a big character turn that resolves Echo's story for this, and then you can go have another story about that character in her own series where she goes and does something else. The story does not have to continue forever. You can resolve a story and then start a new one. And you're all saying this, like, character development? The bad, these are things that they do all the time. The only time they haven't done it is Loki, which was very bad. <laughs> like, this is not something that Disney is tremendously bad at. It's not something the MCU is tremendously bad at. The MCU, historically, has in fact been very good at telling self-contained stories that tie together in... in, like, connective tissue ways. <laughs> It's the, literally the strength of the universe they built was that each movie was a good self-contained story. And they they linked together in fun and interesting ways that was rewarding for the fan. But they were, you know, they were reasonably tight and they were well well constructed. Have I watched Titans at all? Yeah, I've watched Titans. Titans is a fucking train wreck. And I love it. <laughs> it's like a car accident that I drive by and can't look away. I just, like, I watch Titans looking for the decapitated heads lying on the pavement. Titans is excruciating, but I love it. <laughs> Titans is straight trash. <laughs> Samwick says, all of this is going to collapse in on itself when they acknowledge that Disney Plus subscriber growth is slowing well short of profitability and reposition around animated series and reruns. You're probably right. And that'll be fine. Like, that'll that'll be good. <laughs> I don't know. I still have a lot of concerns about what Marvel is doing in, in, in Phase 4. But they haven't lost me yet. They still, they still have time. There's still opportunity for, for them to find their course. But they do feel very adrift at the moment. They feel very directionless right now. And uh, some of that is because we don't know where this phase is headed yet, but some of it is just, like, they're doing a bunch of bad things. <laughs> they've forgotten how to, they've forgotten the strengths of their universe a bit, and so everything's getting, and they're suffering from comic book syndrome is the problem, where, like, everything has to be big crossovers now instead of, instead of, like, go entering a rebuilding phase. They don't that's the problem, right? Like they they had their their playoff run. They had their victory lap and they needed to go into a new rebuilding phase and they are forgetting the lessons of phase 1. Or maybe they're not forgetting the lessons of phase 1, phase 1, but they're making they're overcomplicating it. They're making new mistakes. And so that's that's my TED talk as it pertains to phase four, I guess. 
I don't know. Everybody's very cynical about the MCU. Yes, I think they learned a bunch of things across the 10-year history of the MCU. They made a lot of really good movies. They made a lot of really good movies. <laughs> and it's like, fundamentally, it's the same people at the helm. They made an incredibly successful media property. And I, I think there's just like... They've gotten to the point that the comics bo comic books got to where it's uh where it's like they they now they're addicted to crossovers. The only way that, the only way they know to grow the brand is to continue making everything bigger as opposed to uh as as opposed to like resetting and bringing us along on a on the introduction of a new set of characters and finding a new like a new thing to work towards. And they are sort of doing it, right? Like, they are sort of doing it. They are introducing the next generation of Avengers. They very clearly are introducing the next generation of Avengers and helping it, like, move, like, helping move the universe forward in that way. But, uh, but they have not, they have not yet communicated to the audience. And I mean, uh, like, COVID definitely hurt this, right? Like, this, this damaged their ability to, to do what they were trying to do in an expedient way. But, uh, they have not yet communicated to the audience what, what they're building towards, what the hook is, what the, what their intent is. Um, and so everything just feels like, the only things the only things we have to to like moor ourselves to right now are the interconnectivity between the different pictures because because they haven't given us the met like the arc they haven't they haven't they haven't introduced us to what their their arc is yet and uh and since we don't have an avengers like they haven't pointed us towards the avengers we're just, we're stuck, right? Like, with, you know, they released Iron Man, and then they released The Incredible Hulk, and then they were like, all right, we're working towards Avengers. And so even in Phase 1, by the by the second movie of Phase 1, we at least knew what they were building to, right? And then by the time The Avengers came out, it was like, oh, okay, this is, this is step one on the way to Infinity War, and we ha we knew that like Thanos was going to be the villain and the infinity stones were the thing and we're we're like 3 movies into phase 4 now and we don't like we have a pretty good idea who the big bad is going to be but he hasn't appeared in a movie yet and the 3 movies that have come out feel really fundamentally disconnected from one another because the 3 movies that have come out are Black Widow, Shang-Chi and The Eternals <laughs> Which is, and Black Widow happened back during the Civil War, and so it's it's just like a really, really weird place to be in the universe right now. And I don't think they intended it, right? Like, the movie release schedule shuffled, and the release schedule of things on, the, on Disney Plus shuffled. Well, the series, the series exist, but the series don't exist. Right? Like, fundamentally, the series don't exist. Disney can't count on people having seen the series. And so, the series exists to tread water for the fans. They don't actually advance anything. The, uh, like, they, they just don't really... <laughs> Yeah, like I I agree that like Black Widow almost functions as like the coda to phase 4 or to phase 3. But uh like it, Disney's already done this with the series that they were working on where the like the canonicity of them doesn't actually like they are non-canon unless the movies say they are. But the like the big thing here is they just can't rely they they've gotten wise on that. Um They've gotten wise on that, so the like the Disney Plus series are are fundamentally canon. That's fine. They just don't do anything. They don't advance the narrative at all. None of the series will have an effect on the MCU that takes longer than twenty seconds for a character to explain in a line of dialogue in a film. 
That's the, like, that's the important thing to note. <laughs> But Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. got gold Ghost Rider. I mean, I imagine if they ever do a Ghost Rider film again, they'll bring what's-his-name from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. forward. But the, 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 the purpose of these series is just to give something for the fans to cling to and, and get their lore dose, which is why I end up being relatively down on a lot of, of the stuff they're doing. It's just lore. It's not the story. It's just lore. You get to spend a little more time with the characters... And they get to go on a little side adventure that doesn't affect the larger narrative in any particular way. And they introduce some new characters that they'll use in different ways in future properties. But as as soon as soon as they, the, like anything happens in a movie, <laughs> Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a great example of this, right? Captain America Four. Falcon's gonna show up in his outfit. And nobody is going to question it <laughs> because at the end of Endgame, he got the shield. And at the beginning of Captain America 4, he is Captain America. And his little, his little adventure that he did doesn't matter. <laughs> and WandaVision, Wanda lost Vision. And when, when she comes back, she'll be more powerful and angry and maybe a bad guy. And everybody will be like, oh, it's because she's not over Vision. And she unlocked her power. <laughs> oh, sorry, Zafty. Those were only barely, those were only barely spoilers. It was a year ago. <laughs> but anyhow, like, it's still not going to matter, right? Like, the, the fundamental change in, in Wanda's character from the beginning to the end of that series is totally explicable within the context of having just watched the films. Loki is never going to appear in a movie again, so his series doesn't matter. His, his, his series is just a thirst trap. And uh, I, I have sincere doubts that Hawkeye, like, I have sincere doubts that Jeremy Renner is ever going to appear in a, in a movie again. But, like, Yelena, when she turns up in a movie again, her adventures with Hawkeye won't matter. The difference will be, like, I, he wasn't responsible, and so I gave, you know, I gave him the, I, I, I'm over it. Um... And just like Hawkeye won't show up again. It's gonna just go. It'll just be its own like the Hawkeye series will just be its own thing. And eventually they'll roll Kate Bishop into whatever junior Avengers, the young Avengers when they do that. And uh and it'll be fine. <laughs> but it won't matter. <laughs> like again, it's like, oh yeah, I, I worked with Hawkeye for a while, we're friends. I'm the new Hawkeye. I, you can call me Hawkeye. They are setting up Young Avengers very heavily. I think, I think, I anticipate that there is, not only is there going to be a Young Avengers movie, but it's going to be integral, integral to the next major arc. integral those were words see the thing is i'm i'm less i i i i'm less concerned with the like the canonicity right like i don't i don't care about the word canonicity in this context very much um, I, like, <laughs> they, they are functionally canon. They're being written in a way that their being canon doesn't matter to the, the meta story of the MCU. That's, that's what I'm getting at. They're, they can be canon or not, and it, 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 you don't 
really lose anything if you don't watch them. You're not missing out on the meta story is basically what I'm getting at here. But they still can be canon. And I don't, I don't want to say that the stories mean nothing, right? Like, again, one of the strengths of the MCU to this point is getting to, to spend time with characters you like and watch them go on adventures and watch them, like, bounce off of one another in interesting ways. And having a series that does that even if it doesn't push the the meta narrative of the franchise forward that's that's fine that that is can be an enjoyable experience i just wish they were better at it <laughs> so that these series were more coherent and didn't feel as ambivalent about being serious as they are there we go i brought it full circle and uh we can move on now <clears throat> <sighs> All right, let's let's I don't know. Do we are we just moving on to the the traditions at this point or do you all have anything else that you want me to talk about this evening? 4-hour Marvel waffle stream? No, I don't think so. I'm giving I'm going to give uh I'm I'm going to give Sam Walk a moment here to to find something to redirect me uh oh right jokes did i already see spider-man no spider-man on friday friday night i owe two jokes i owe two jokes so let's see what i can find here <clears throat> What time Friday night? 7.15, I believe. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a not so... That's a not safe for work joke. I don't like that joke. All right, here we go. What do you call a broke Santa? St. Nicholas. All right, here's here's the uh here's my second joke of the evening. Why do all the computers on the ISS run Linux? Because it would be dangerous to open windows in space. There you go. All right, I'll give you one more bonus one. This one's seasonally appropriate. What did the hat say to the scarf? You hang around here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> there you go. 
There we go. I can't use all the ones I like, but, uh... What do you call baby snowmen? Chill Dren. <laughs> All right. Here is my phone. Here is my phone cable. Everybody, please brace your ear holes. Uh, oh, sure, now you do it. There we go. Okay. Also, one additional point of order before we carry on. P. Johnston, thank you for the resub. Now for seven months. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, uh, now what? I guess we should play our video game. I don't know. I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm trying to put off playing our video game this evening. Sprite was the choice. Well, congratulations. You got it. It is indeed. I can't believe it's not Sprite. Straight to my mouth from our delicious spot. <laughs> not sponsors at SodaStream. Future sponsors. Sponsors in Potentia. One day I'll become a Soda Streamer. And, uh, that'll be the day. Then I'll have made it. Then I'll have truly made it. <sighs> I do just want to be able to call myself a soda streamer. I wish I had more to talk about tonight. We're, we've been here for 42 minutes. I should probably move on, but I wish I had more to talk about tonight. I don't feel like I do. Have I talked about anything I did in my life other than watch an episode of Hawkeye? I talked about that, and I talked about uh, setting up the analog pocket. That's it. Anyhow, I would like I would like it if Hawkeye episode six is good. Episodes one through three were good. But I do I do lead a boring Wednesday. I my car is finally fully operational. That's that's I guess the other thing. My car is finally fully operational. It's parked in my garage again. Was it a fuse? No, it was not a fuse. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's way funnier than a fuse. It was free. They fixed it for free. It did not cost me anything. They did not charge me a cent. It additionally required no new parts. The reason my power outlet wasn't working in my car is because when they reassembled my dashboard after putting the climate control unit back in, they just forgot to connect the wire. And so when I when I brought it in, they they were like, "Oh, the fuse isn't broken and the the port is still good." That's weird. and then they uh then they were like, "Oh, jeez." And so they had to disassemble my dash, reconnect it, reassemble my dash. So it took about a half an hour. But uh, but they, they fixed it. They fixed it. It works great. It's back in working order. 
Uh, I have to teach myself how to drive again because the, the clutch, the new clutch is so catchy that I'm just like bunny hopping all over the place because I'm so used to a way more forgiving clutch. <laughs> But uh, but that's good. Means it works. My car is purring like a kitten. It's idling at the right speed. It's not fluttering anymore, which is great. The con climate control unit works beautifully. Forgiving means worn out. No. No, no. The clutch breaks in a little bit. I, I got it back with a full tank of gas. I actually don't remember how much gas I had in it when I dropped it off, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't full. So I may have gotten Never away like full. a bandit. They may have refilled my gas tank while I, like, in order to diagnose the darn thing. Hashtag blessed. Yeah, but I have a full gas tank right now. I'm, I'm sure they charged me for it. It'll just be in very, like, various fluids. Anyhow, the the person at the service center today wished me a happy holidays and said, I hope we don't see you again until your next oil change. And I said, so do I. <laughs> but the car works again, which is good. It's good that the car is back and works again, because that means I can go to see Spider-Man. Because I booked my Spider-Man tickets at a theater that's awkward to get to and particularly difficult to get to if via public transit. Most of the theaters in town, if I, if I tried to get to them, I could get to them relatively, like, inconveniently, but relatively smoothly via public transit options. But, uh, but this one particular theater is, is a challenge to get to via public transit and, uh... So I would I I would have either had to have used a car share to get there, which is annoying as well. Car shares are car shares are great, but they're annoying. Um, and uh, <laughs> so I I'm glad to have my car because it'll make that it'll make that trip much more convenient. And we get to go Christmas shopping this weekend, right? And we have a car to go Christmas shopping with. Oh, we should go to Everything Wine. Get a nice bottle of wine. Yeah. For two. Two? Cheers. Okay. You make a compelling argument. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I guess it's time to play our video game. It's been 48 minutes. <laughs> I have a car to go shopping in, but no money to spend. I mean, yeah, you're right. No, I do like this game. I've been enjoying it. I've just, I don't know. I'm feeling ambivalent this evening. <laughs> I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of dreading streaming all day today. I don't know why. I just, whatever. It's fine. We should just take a day and play Halo. <laughs> I kind of do just want to go play Halo today. Do it. Do whatever you want. Do a stream. You don't know anyone shit. You don't know anyone any... Whatever you want. Wanna play Shinchan? Hmm. Pardon me? No, I don't want chat to vote. I'm gonna just play Chrono Cross. I'm gonna just play Chrono Cross. I'm gonna just play Chrono Cross. I don't know why I'm in such a mood tonight. I'm in such a mood tonight. Oh, I'm in such a mood. I'm sure the moment I get started, it'll be fine. Let's switch over to our game console. I just need to, I just need to rip the Band-Aid off. 
I just need to rip the band-aid off. That's what it is. <clears throat> Besides, the more I play the more I play Infinite on stream, the more worried I'm gonna say something I shouldn't. So I really I really shouldn't stream it. Uh, GFAM187, uh, welcome, and no, well, Chrono Cross is weird. Chrono Cross is great. Chrono Cross is weird. <clears throat> it does feel a little bit like it was an unrelated game that was shoehorned into the series mid-writing. You're not wrong. All right, I'm moving on. Let's get this party started. We have our opening cutscene to sit through. Gotta, we gotta have our our regular jam out session. Yeah, prepare for the crunch. I'm gonna snooze the upcoming ad just so that nobody gets an ad in the middle of the uh, the opening credit or the opening cutscene. <clears throat> but yeah, let's let's just sit here and and feel those vibes, and also feel the copyright claim I'm gonna get on YouTube. Because pre both previous VODs have been hit. All right, there we go. Uh, so yes, <laughs> this cutscene is spoiler tastic. It's got it's got lots of spoilers in it, but they don't really contextualize until the game ends. So <laughs> you don't really have any context for what they're spoiling exactly.
All right, so when we last left our hero, we were infiltrating Viper Manor. And there's a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so in this zone, there is a turn blue, a manor key. In fact, the, the manor key is... Uh, hello. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you must be the new helpers I was told about. Uh, that's right. Oh, great, you're just in time. My back gave out recently, and I can't feed the dragons. I want you to take over for me. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> God. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you have a key to the ma- <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Oi! Do you have a key to the mana? I have to give, I have to give a good solid oi <laughs> to get started. Oh, sure do. Wouldn't mind giving it to you if you take me on this job. Oi! <laughs> I do it, Serge. Will you feed them? What do I do? First, go to the leftmost feed station and press the X button to get the dragon feed. You can hold up to three servings at once. Next, use the directional buttons to move to a hungry dragon. Press the X button to feed it. <coughs> when you run out of feed, go back to the feed station to replenish your stock. Just keep repeating the whole process. And remember, the dragons will only eat when they want to. You fail if you're unable to feed the same dragon four times. Will you- What?! All you have to do is feed the dragons and satisfy their hunger. I'll give you a nicer gift depending on how many times you feed the dragons. Uh, oh god. How many times can I feed the- Alright, mini game, dragon feeding. The object of this game is to feed the dragons and satisfy their hunger. We must sate their thirst. Surge can try to feed 10, 20, 30, 40, or 100 at a time, and he gets a prize based on his performance. The minimum 10 is all one needs to proceed with the story, since it allows our hero to get the manor key in the cabinet. Surge can try these missions as many times as he wants for the prize. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's start with 10. 10 times, eh? Okay, I'll be counting. Good luck to ya. Oh, I see. Oh god. Oh no, I don't see. They're getting hungrier! Good. I have no idea. A job well done. You'll find the key in the cupboard. Take it. And here's the gift that I promised. All right, I received, received knee pad. Come back again sometime to feed the dragons. Will you feed them? Sure. Golly gee, you'd better not. No one has ever been able to complete it. Although I did hear a tale about one legendary attempt. The man reached 99 before he suffered a heart attack. You still want to try? Of course. Fine, give it a try. 100 times, eh? Okay, I'll be counting. Ah. No!
Oh god. All at once. Okay, that last one has to be kept happy now. Oh no! Uh-oh. Okay, that's it. No, no, no. You're making the dragons angry. 100 times is impossible. You better give up. Okay. So there's there's exactly one item here that it says you should not leave here without, and it's the one at 40. And I feel like 40 is achievable. I don't have to go all the way to 100, but I feel like 40 is achievable. Ah. Ah, damn. You bastard. Wow. I'm just getting incredibly unlucky here. Oh, I'm in trouble. I can do this. I can do this. No, damn, damn. Oh, come on. I was so close. I was so close. Jeez. No! I think I gotta focus on the... the distant ones. Gotta focus on the distant ones, so that I don't have... so that the... The closer ones, I, I can afford to leave the ones that are closer to the feed pile 
longer because they're easier to get back to. Whoops. No. Damn. I should just die here. <laughs> I should just let myself die. <laughs> it probably was faster to, to finish. You're right. Sure. 40 times. Ah, hell. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Ah, shit. No, no, no! Come on. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. We can't leave until I hit 40. Guide literally says, don't leave here without it. No! Oh, I did it! <laughs> Good grief. Excellent. A job well done. Here's a little something. Surge re received. Recover all. Come feed the dragons for me again sometime. Elements. Oop. Back up. I'm not doing 100. Absolutely not. Wait. Not equip. Elements. Allocate. No. Just pick the right thing. There we go. Oh, it's white! Ooh. Why, hello. Oops. So there is a reward for 20, and it's a bronze helmet, which I don't care about. 
I don't care about enough to aggravate myself by trying to do it. 20 would be pretty easy. You're right. 20 would be pretty easy, but it also involves expending effort, you see. I mean, if you want to sit me if you want to sit here and watch me feed dragons all evening, All right, fair. It's true. You have, in fact, sat here and watched me do more inane challenges in the past. So it wouldn't be the first time. I want the... Hmm... Uh-oh. Arrow saucer minus one. No, no, no. All right, let's feed the dragons to 20. Sure. 20 times. Remember when you all were like, 20 will be easy. Uh, here's a little something. All right, we got a bronze helm. What's 30? 30 is a bronze male. So I guess we're going to 30 as well, since we've already done 40. Strats. Oh no, no. Excellent. A job well done. Here's a little something. Bronze mail. Come feed the dragons again for me sometime. All right, great. All done. Oh, I actually had an upgrade. Oops. Wait, no. Bronze hat. Where's the bronze hat? Poultice cap. E pad. Okay, all of that seems decent. What's your current def? 10. So it makes your evade better, but defense worse. Okay. That seems not to my benefit.
All right, let's go get the key. Surge found manor key. This isn't order, it's manor key. Save. Okay, now we haven't actually figured out what happens if we bump into one of these guards. Presumably, I get in a fight? How dangerous will this be? Not incredibly so. I am just out here murdering the manor security. I'm sure they deserved it. So how do I get there, I wonder? Oh, that's how. There was just a door. Ah. Yikes. getting caught by those guys. But there should be a chest there. There we go. And, uh... Oh, hell. Okay, let's try this again. This time not getting... Ah, oh, intruders! Wait, that's me! All right, they struck first, so it's officially self-defense. That's how that works. That's how chat tells me it works. Cover all element is getting good work. Ointment. Uh, hey, stop right there. How did you get in here? a golden guard. I am a golden guard. All right, kid. Get it done. You did not get it done. Lena, you didn't get it done either.
Okay, hold up. Oh, no, it, it won't matter. Wow, just whiffing every hit. Uh, I don't know, the guy that's gold maybe has something worth stealing. A bronze he Hell yeah! Nicely done! To bed with you. I guess I should equip that new hat. Uh, we have a, a shiny new hat for hat for you. All right, we're in. Hooray. Whoa, hold up. We're leaving again. Because apparently the guards drop a legit good element. So now we have to do some murders. We have to beat them until the treats fall out. Apparently it's just the sergeants though, so the privates don't help me. some sergeants. Kids' weapons are daggers. Kid uses daggers. You're not sergeants. Well, at least we're getting lots of tablets. Or what happens if I step into the light? Oh, over here! What? Oh. Whichever way the game goes with chat will take the opposite. No, no. Whichever way I choose, chat will take the opposite. You're very contrary, chat. 
But it doesn't matter what the game does. It's true that you don't know how to ex interact except through a veneer of hostility, and I don't know where you get it from. I didn't raise you to be like this. No, you did not learn it from me. I'm nothing but kind and occasionally sassy. Oh, I killed him. Graham, are you trying to imply that this game doesn't look good? Also, hi, Graham. I... I think... How bad is this gonna make it look? Let's find out. Oh, now it's real smudgy! Let's see how this looks with the... Oh god, there's four of them this time! Is it just me or is this running way slower now? Feels like it's running at half speed. <laughs> All right, your options are crunchy as heck or slow as molasses. I'm annoyed that I ended up in this fight with four of these dudes, but no sergeants. I want the sergeants! Yeah, not only is there no official HD mod for this game, there's there's been rumors recently of a an HD remaster or like a remake, but uh, but nothing confirmed yet. Yes, a sergeant, hooray! Give me your meteorite, sergeant. I I desire your nougaty center in the form of an element. Yeah, Colina. Beat him to death with a spoon.
Uh, we're gonna take advantage of a steal here. I may as well try and take his hat. Aw, oh, nerds. Meteorite. 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 Meteor wrong. Come at me, bros. Maybe it'll just send out, like, progressively stronger enemies with every fight. my sword. He didn't even die. He didn't even have the decency to die. Oh, God. All right, then. What? So many misses. I've gone... I've gone full XCOM here. Now it's your turn. Yes, it is convenient that these guys are not posing a particular threat to me. Yeah, Lena for the win. Oh, come on. I wonder how rare this rare drop is. That sounded like a different musical cue. What do you mean, aw, oh, come on, in two screens before you see what your drops were? I, the drops are on the, the page where you get money. Or I'm very stupid. The other possibility is that I'm very stupid. That wouldn't be a new occurrence for this stream. Oh, they're after I heal. Oh. All right, then chalk it up to my own stupidity, I guess. Yeah, Lena, Lena's finally uh, figured out how to hit people, which is nice for, like, a, you know, a quantity of damage. Well, since I've been looking at the wrong screen for my drops, I assume we're going to... I'm going to finally get the meteorite that I want, then we're going to look at my element list, and it'll turn out I've got, like, six. See, it says received, but I guess this is the power-up screen. Spoils found. None. Alright, so I still didn't get any spoils, but now at least I know it's the third screen. Oh. This is not the fight configuration I wanted. 
This fight just gets me... You know what? What if I run away? What happens if I run away? Take that, losers. Ghost of Jeff Goldblum, what if I told you every game was Star Wars? Something something Mono Man. Take back what I said about bug snacks. Bug Snacks is like 50% Star Wars. I wish you would stop missing. Stop missing. Like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. I don't know what 50% of Star Wars Bug Snacks is, but I'm sure it's like 50% Star Wars. Okay, I think I have to check my in my my inventory here. Elements. Oh, those are only usable ones. Elements. Allocate. Hmm. Chrono Cross. Oh, what are these called? We need to find out the name of this enemy. Ooh, a three stack with one. We haven't seen this configuration before. Maybe I'll get lucky here. What are they? Acacia SGT. Somebody want to look up the drop table for me? Show. Drop common. Copper. Drop rare. Meteorite. Oh no, it doesn't have a... Drops. There, I've now googled it to see if there's a... Uh... Not the Chrono Wiki. Okay. The Acacia Sergeant enemies drop meteorite elements as a rare drop. They are... Oh. <sighs> Alright, well... One day... Yeah, it's meteorite I'm looking for. I'm gonna find out that it's like... A one in a thousand chance... Oh, there are plenty of other enemies that drop Meteorite in Acacia Manor, hey? That probably would have been good to know before I spend all this time trying to kill this one guy.
It's either 1 in 8 or 1 in 64. All right, 1 in 64 is much worse. <laughs> it's all right. I just got to get lucky. Come on, game. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. And by new pair of shoes, I mean rock from the sky. I mean, all I need to do, if it's one in eight, all I need to do is kill eight sergeants. Oh, it gave me two. All right. All I need to do is kill exactly eight sergeants and I will get one. That's how it works. That's what that's how probability works. It's guaranteed. The machine has to pay out sometime. Also, I hope we're all looking forward to our, like, month of Chrono Cross. We're going to be playing this game into the new year. Particularly at the rate I'm progressing through it. Across leading into Pokemon Legends. That's actually a pretty tempting proposition you've proposed. Tablet. Well, I'm, I've sure got a lot of copper. step all over Ben's toes. I just have to stream it first. As long as I get to it first. Where did the... Oh, there's the beam. He streams earlier in the day than I do. Yeah. But what if, what if launch day is his day off? Work stream, yeah, just stream at 8 a.m. I don't know, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll start a, a Final Fantasy 14 stream series and we'll play through all the story content in that game because I'm pretty sure that's the only way I'll ever get through all the story content in that game. Give me my damn meteorite. It did not give me my damn meteorite. There are more sergeants inside. Well, yeah. But why do it there when I can do it here?
Have I figured out what I'm playing after this on stream yet? I know we talked about the Metroid Primes. Am I playing? Maybe I'm playing the Metroid Primes. Is there something else I want to play? I really need to think about what I want to play. I'm in a bit of a rut at the moment. I need to come up with a like another game I want to play. No, I don't think we're going straight from one JRPG into another JRPG. Metroid Prime is pretty strong. Samlong just wants me to play Spider-Man, always and forever. Advance Wars is definitely on the streaming list. Like, Advance, Advance Wars is definitely on the streaming list. That's happening when it comes out. Did I play the Ghost of Tsushima DLC? No, I didn't. It's too expensive. Have I played Wargroove yet? No. Well, I own it. Like, I have played a little bit of it. But, uh... Are we sticking to old school games? Not necessarily. But there's not a lot coming out in the immediate future that I'm super gunned about. Photon! Photon Ray is not what we wanted. We're looking for Meteorite. Meteorite is better than Photon Ray. This wouldn't bother me as much if I was, uh, if I was leveling up doing this, but the fact that I'm just grinding for a drop and not gaining levels is, uh, is the worst. Yeah, Photon Ray is the rare drop from the privates, not the sergeants. I think I can switch party members at the moment. I just have to go back to the save point, and I could swap in others. But let's be real. I'm still not gonna... I'm still not gonna use any other characters. I haven't played Returnal, but I'm really not a big um, roguelike fan. Is the the big thing? I I don't like uh, I don't I don't like roguelikes very much. So I have I've I've shot down Returnal. I'll probably pick up a copy when it goes cheap. Do I like ARPGs? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. My I feel like my gaming tastes are peculiar. I feel like I really ought to play games I haven't played before, too. Like, I need to start putting some time into games that I...
You might look for something short and fast-paced after Chrono Cross. Maybe. Fast-paced isn't necessarily required. Short isn't necessarily required. I don't know. I've sort of I've sort of left you all to to like just request things of me. Which wasn't really strictly speaking my intent. I didn't necessarily mean to be like you all need to suggest things to me. But uh <laughs> and I don't want it to feel like I'm just here shooting down all your ideas. I was thinking of a COD playthrough at some point. The, uh, the three Modern Warfare games. Oh, I don't want to fight this fight. Screw this fight. Whoops. <laughs> Play Ghosts again? I mean, the upside to Call of Duty Ghosts is that it's easily doable in two streams. The downside to Ghosts is that I've never been able to upload it to, to YouTube, so I can't actually save my, my stream for posterity. And it's true, we have talked about Dark Souls 2 a lot. So Dark Souls 2 should should still remain on the list at some point. another game to come out that I'm jazzed about. And we're sort of in a period where there's not a lot that I'm jazzed about currently out or on the horizon that I can play on stream. Come on. Come on. Minecraft. I am definitely excited for the New Horizon game. 100% I'm excited for the New Horizon game, but it's still a ways out. It's not imminent. I guess we've learned that it's a 1 in 64 drop chance, haven't we? I suppose it could still be 1 in 8 and I'm just extremely unlucky. Missing an 80% swing surge, jeez.
Acacia Blade. Alright, now you really better drop your stupid thing. Drop the stupid thing, guy. Yeah, I should! Zafty, I, I should play something that, the uh, like, we can all play. Do Halo Community Night. Ah! Another photon ray! The upside to doing Halo Community Night is that it's free to play. The multiplayer is free to play. Jackbox party. I've never actually uh, tried to construct a Jackbox a Jackbox party night. I don't know how that works. I don't know. We've talked about this before. I'm a very asocial gamer most of the time. Not antisocial, just asocial. I, uh, I don't do multiplayer very much. <laughs> Halo is definitely an, an anomaly. Destiny. No. Just drop the thing, please. I think I may have to commit to not grinding for anything. If we're ever going to finish this game, I may have to commit to not grinding for anything. Considering it's almost 9 already. And we've made no story progress tonight. Oh yeah, no, I, I can't give up on the meteor. The meteorite I have to get. We're, we're too far gone now, there's no going back. At least until we get to the dragons and I have to steal vests from them. Which I also recall being an absolutely miserable grind. Yes, that's right. It's not, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not sunk cost. It's weaponized tenacity. Surely the most recommended guide on GameFAQs.com would not be wrong about these guys having the thing I want. Surely not. No one, no one has ever been wrong on the internet. Are you saying somebody would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? That was a good critical hit. Do that more, would ya? Here we go. This one. This one. We're gonna do it here. This is it. feel good about this one.
I give up. I want that battle configuration that has two of the sergeants again. I like that the gu the guy just says, level up around here for a little while, because the sergeants drop this item. A little while. It's true, I could just, I could probably kit out Surge with nothing but Photon Ray elements now. Just turn him into a beam cannon. I don't, I don't expect that killing the sergeants first is necessary. It is always one after you say I give up, which is why I said I give up. Watch me not be able to equip it. Drops a comet down on an unsuspecting foe's head. Don't mind if I do. All right, now we can progress for real, real. But first, I have to go to the the save point. Well, that was a good use of an hour. Getting one of those for everybody doesn't benefit anything. The other people in the party are not white elemental. Okay. Entering the palace. In the foyer, inspect the coiled snake statue. There's a knob with numbers. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Bye. All right, now we are in a cage. Oh, intruders? How'd you get past our security? <laughs> I can't believe you would fall for a trap like this. What should we do with these fools? <laughs> What's so funny? You dragoons are a bunch of dagnuts. Oh, you're asking for it. Take it easy. So you're a... F so you're afraid of us, eh? <laughs> so you're afraid of us, eh? Chicken. 
Oh, this should be interesting. Let's teach him a lesson. Open it up. Man, don't be taken in by her fast talk. Bring it on, chums. Now get out. We'll teach you a lesson. Watch all three of these guys drop a meteorite. Sam, well, congratulations on your boss fight win. I don't know what boss fight you're on. But it is possible to put dots on bosses. I happen to know this. The Disruptor will do it. The Disruptor's really good about it. The Disruptor will do it, and a bunch of the the large, like, plasma canisters, if you blow them up, will put light the ground on fire. And the ground will burn for a while and deal damage over time. But my, my pro tip, as I understand it, is bringing a Disruptor into a boss fight in Infinite is, like, a really strong strategy. because it, it will prevent their shields from regenerating. All right, back to, the, back to the game at hand. Why don't we disguise ourselves with these suits? Okay, we are disguised. All right, head downstairs. Head downstairs into the jail area and inspect the treasure chest. What? <laughs> I got mimicked. <sighs> All right, the boxer boys. Well, 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 which of us do you choose? You only have one chance. All right, hold up. Eight or nine. Okay, I don't, I don't care particularly strongly about uh, which of these I get. tiny one. <laughs> He's so cute! Why? 
okay. <sighs> Why not? Well, I'm not slacking off. Apparently, that's like a chance as well. That was supposed to be an arrow saucer. That was not supposed to be a meteorite. All right, so the guide says go into the left hallway. Head into the dining hall. Oh, I see. Okay. Lysander wants a joke, eh? Hey? I should have seen this one coming. What did Jay-Z call his wife before they married? Fiance. Okay, somewhere in this room is an item. There's a revive in here somewhere. Ah, that'll be it. Hold up, revive? That sounds substantially useful. Recovers friend from incapacitated status. Is that so? It's also white, though. I don't know. I'm going to end up just stacking all the white elements onto onto surge All right, into the dining hall. Well, that guy's weird enough that he's probably going to be a recruitable character, isn't he? Oh, damn. I wish I had chosen something easier. I can't find the time to investigate. Uh, um, it's nothing. Orcha? Oh, yes. This is, this is, what's his name's father, undoubtedly. Oh, <gasps> Uh, can't, can't you see I'm busy? Don't you goof off now, newbie. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, lately my brain just seems to shut down at night. Yes, that's called sleeping. Maybe I'm overworked? Alright. So, I am in this hallway. Into the dining hall. And, uh... What? It fell down again? How many times do I have to tell you? It's to the right and to the left. Got that? 
I better write this down before I forget. Alright, so we have a item here. A Dragoon's Honor! Let me pass. And a turn green. I better write that down. There. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get the clue, apparently. I was not sufficiently fast. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Yes, I am ignoring all the guards. The guards don't matter. I don't need to talk to all of them. Okay, now where the hell am I? One door up leads to... One door up he here leads to a chest with a turn black element in it and another boxer duo. The boxer boys. Well, well, which of us do you choose? You only have one chance. Uh, I'm going to choose the tiny one again. The tiny one's just so cute. Ice Lance. These. So a turn black, and a boxer boy, and 16, 17, 18. I cannot do a Harley Quinn voice. Hey, Puddin. <laughs> Sitter, please shut up. Besides, she's she's clearly French. All right, now we are going head downstairs into the jail. No, I keep scrolling up. Um, head east through the opposite basement section. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> Talk to the guards. This is the treasure vault. You must have special permission to enter. What's wrong with you guys? Say the password. 
Uh, long live General Viper. Karsh rules. Uh-oh. Oh! Correct. The password is silence. You may enter. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm gonna keep poking the tiny one. Because why would I do anything else? Tiny boy. Poke. Ice Lance again. Nice. <laughs> who keeps mimics in their treasure room? Presumably somebody who wants to guard their treasure. <laughs> this is great. But it looks like the frozen flame ain't here. Now, ah, well, let's just take what's here. Okay, so what is here? We have. Number 10 on the list, Hero Shield. I should read the guide. <laughs> bronze sword, a suit of bronze mail, the key item, Hero Shield. There is a sword. Take it. There is armor. Take it. There is a shield. Take it. Also, inspect that little chest to fight for your treasure. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Inspect the vase. The vase is actually a monster! Creature's name is Potty. Huh. Ow. Rude. Oh, just missing every attack. Great. <laughs> Kid was like the one person on this team that I wanted to get a full slate of attacks there. Oh, come on, kid. Why you gotta do this to me? Just land one attack. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Ha! Yes! A cat. That's. Uh, that's it? Alright, Surge, do it to it. He said I had some kind of elemental power to damage him with. Mm, that doesn't seem like something I would do. What the hell? Apparently I didn't equip a single heal to Lena. Mm. 
Physician, heal thyself. Okay, it's hurting. That's good. Oh. Attack. Two. And it died. So I'm not... Oh, it didn't die. All right, great. Let's drop a rock on its head. We still ha we still haven't had a sprain afflict us. Now hold up. We got the turn red. We got the ice lance. We got the hero shield, bronze mail, bronze sword. That's all good. This is the last thing. There's a treasure on the wall. Take it cautiously. This must be some kind of trap. We should leave it alone. Yeah, whatever. Just grab it. Ha! Ah! <laughs> what an amazing trap door. I told you. Yeah, just a minor slip up. But look, we got the treasure. What was Luca's voice? <laughs> Luca was basically Krillin, as I recall. Oh. Like, <laughs> female Krillin. Quiet. You too, Pip. Hmm. I see that you are not really dragoons. Actually, we're just, well, uh, no matter. Oh, <laughs> she's like German? Uh, no matter. Come out. Okay. I'm out. Now what? Who are you? And why are you helping us? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Who said... <laughs> Vu said anything about helping? I am the scientific genius of Viper Manor. Please, call me Lucia. You will be my guinea pigs. Finish them. Uh oh. <laughs> I missed all three attacks there. This could be problematic. Surge, you even have a bonus to hit. I gave you a special equipment just for that purpose to prevent this very eventuality. Weed? Does that make Lena a weed whacker? No, I'm not gonna drop a mini right on their head. Oh, not so frisky now, are ya? Let's 
try this one more time. There we go. Lena suddenly got good. the face on these things. I don't like their lips. Hey! We leveled up, though. Now I can grind! Wonderful. You have exceeded my expectations by defeating my bulbs. Now please leave. Okay, is there anything we want to pick up in the lab? Just making sure. I, at six level up, awarded for winning. Afterwards, talk to the caged monster in the room's corner. Let's chat with Pip. Hello, Pip. Hi, I'm Pip. My dream is to sail the vast sea someday on a big, huge ship. Um. Would you mind opening this cage quietly? Open it. Thanks. I'll make my escape later. Till we meet again. Wait! I am extremely interested in all of you. I cannot leave right now, but come by when you need my help. I am willing to help you. Oh ho 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 ho! Ho oh, ho ho, I'll be waiting. Okay, now I'm in the hallway. Hey, Roborg. What are you doing? Return to post. <laughs> yes, what is it? Bust it up! Is Andy is Andy, it has been well established that I don't play Pokemon. If you're expecting me to have some weave knowledge deeply ingrained in my psyche, you can rest assured that I do not. Anyhow, the script said ho 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 ho. <laughs> Technically said ho 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 ho. I have a machine gun now. Even if the intended delivery is <laughs> or something to that effect. Thing really doesn't want to die. I suppose I could use something like Electro Jolt on it, or I could just sort it to death. Sorting it to death works too.
All I got was a copper out of that? Really? You'll never take me alive, copper. All right, so I killed the Roborg. Roborg, where's the Ro I should I should highlight the guide where I am. Okay. Ha! -ha! <laughs> Surge found bronze helmet. Decor shield. Take it. A suit of armor is missing a shield. Decor shield. Uh oh. <laughs> huh. Well, let's hope these things don't murder the Jesus out of me. Oh, okay. They die easy. As long as my party doesn't miss. Black rain, eh? Some stay dry and others feel the pain. All right, Surge, would you murder one of these, please? Did not successfully murder it. That's problematic. All right, two down. Oh, Lena, why'd you have to miss? Surge, I would appreciate it if you one-shot this thing. Surge did not one-shot this thing. Wow, rough beats. Uh, have you got anything worthwhile in here? No. I may have to reevaluate my element allocation. All right, Surge, you know what to do. Kill it in one. That was not in one. I said in one. Yeah, like that. Why didn't you do that the first time? See, Lysander has redeemed a joke. Ooh. That was a lot of spoils. Let's see, let's see. This morning, when I was getting ready for work, I accidentally sprayed de deodorant in my mouth. 
Now when I talk, I have this weird accent. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a terrible joke. But it made me laugh. And that's what's important. Alright, we killed the Man of Wars. And there's nothing else worthwhile in this room, apparently. Uh, watch out for traps. Don't touch anything. Oh, I am on Booth. Sorry. You're right. I am on Booth. I am on Booth. That's awkward. Okay, we've moved upstairs. Let's have a look at the map. Uh-oh, I lost track of where I was. Head upstairs, all right. Oops. Well, let's, uh, fight these. I'm sure these bats won't be annoying. Oh, well, that could have been worse. Yeah, like that. Get him. The bat didn't die, it just got slow. It was a fierce battle. Only I can open that. What? What is it? Who are you? Ha! I am Zoa! One of the four valiant devas of the Acacia Dragoons! What? What is it? Who are the four devas? I say four, but actually there are only three of us. Karsh, next door, Marcy, in the library, and I. Our leader, Dario, died in an accident three years ago. What? What is it? Tell me about Dario. He wielded the holy sword, Ein Lanzer, and was trusted a trusted confidant of General Viper. He was engaged to the general's daughter, Miss Riddell, and was next in line to become head of the Viper clan. However, he died an honorable death during his mission to the Isle of the Damned. Three years ago. Karsh was on that same mission. But refuses to say much about it. Dario and Karsh were childhood friends. Always 
competing with one another. God, it keeps going. Dario's death happened soon after he was engaged to Miss Riddell. Many rumors have surfaced regarding his death. What? What is it? Never mind. Only I can open that. I like that he has a little white kitten. All right, this is Karsh's room. All right. Yo, don't open that. One. I said don't. Two. You're a pesky one, aren't you? Three. Cut it out. Four. You're still at it? Five. You must be really bored. Six. That's seven times now. Seven. That's eight times now. That's nine times now. That's ten times now. That's eleven times now. That's twelve times now. That's 13 times now. That's 14 times now. That's 15 times now. That's 16 times now. That's 17 times now. That's 18 times now. That's 19 times now. Fine, fine. If you want it that badly, take it. Search found Dragon Gauntlet. <laughs> what does a Dragoon Gauntlet do? <laughs> Dragoons on spicy. Hot dang. I believe the children say. All right, is there anything else that gives me more hit percentage? They totally do. The children totally do say that. All right, what do we got? Po protection against poison made out of copper. A silver pennant improves magic defense. Protection against burns. All right, Lena needs accessories. Like a knee pad and a silver pennant. Uh, also, you have a bronze mail. You have your best dagger, but you could be wearing a bronze mail. Poor Lena. We didn't upgrade any of her equipment. Alright, so, finishing that. So, we got the Dragoon Gauntlet. Main lobby is now available once again. Only the left way. There's something blocking the way. Okay. Did I... 
The main lobby is available once again. So input the password you learned from Glenn and head north. Okay, but I didn't get a password from Glenn. <laughs> Saw that coming. Yeah, we'll have to go, uh, whoops, this is the wrong way. We'll have to go check his room. I, I didn't see it written down when I looked. When we found him the first time. Duh. Oops. All right, well, Surge should hit like a truck now, right? Yes, Surge hits like a truck now. Well, like, the thing we screwed up was when we when we visited Glenn the first time I wasn't fast enough so I didn't find the thing written down Oh dang Lena with the critical hit Or at least I didn't see him writing We'll have to go back and there must be a way God, look at Surge go. Just demolishing these things. my slack <laughs> that was graham asking me a question i assume he found some video game news that he's asking for my opinion on because uh i'm gonna respond to graham now All right, which room was Glenn in? Glenn was in the barracks. Barracks are here. I'd better write that down. There's a message on the wall. This week's code, seven to the right, five to the left. I should save. Zoop. And going up. Uh, why do I, why did I walk on the carpet? I know better than to walk on the carpet, but I walked on the carpet. I suppose I could just run away. Does anybody remember what the code was? Seven right, five left? I don't remember what it was. Oh. Stop me. Do not enter. Please go around. 
Can I help you? Bust it up. Oh, look at those hits. Yes. Surge is a beast. Also, this monster is a beast. <laughs> but Surge is a beast. Surge did good work there. And now I have I've unlocked the uh, 7 right, 5 left. Okay. I was actually really close on my first attempt then. Turn it. 7 to the right. Five to the left. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Head north. So, we've got a big-ass room. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Uh-oh. There will be a large hall with three exits, but only the left way is free for travel. Large hall. Oh. I definitely do not care that much about the conversation with Nikki in the library. <laughs> Nikki is recruited. Once again, I think I got attacked there by walking on the carpet, so... The left way is free. I should read the guide. Travel past the outdoor catwalk. Hey, this is a familiar-looking catwalk, isn't it? Hello, library. So, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Not doing that again. So, like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here, you know. We are not really dragoons. What are you talking about? It's 
So, like, what's your point? What is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Some weirdos. Hmm. Marcy, lower the ladder, please. All right. Why did why was the ladder retracted in the first place? How did you get up there? If you did not know you were not allowed here, then you must not be one of our ragoons. Oh my, you must be Yes, yes, you must be Surge. My, how you have grown. Like, can I kill him yet? Patience, child, patience. I need to have a word with these people. Who are you? And how do you know Surge? Hmm. How do I explain? I guess you could say I am the prophet of time. Listen carefully. The world is not just a single entity. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. There you will find what you might have become, a world of possibilities that might have existed. A whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. Surge, this world is not the world you grew up in. Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul teetering on the balancing scales of fate. With a 50-50 chance of life or death. This is when your future was split in twain. You know, you, you know he's a philosopher because he says split in twain. In your home world, you survived to live a happy and prosperous life. That is how you made it to the present point in time. However, here in this alternate world, you are in fact very dead and buried. You died ten years ago, but this world's timeline has flowed on regardless. You have no place in this world. Here you are but a ghost brought back from the past. I do not know what happened ten years ago, nor can I guess what triggered your entrance into this world. The locations where such divisions in the time-space continua occur are called Angelus Arare, where the angels lose their way. It is said that there, the borders of the two dimensions fluctuate in such a way as to make the passage between parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, the vacuum. Pardon me. The vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle. Of course, no one can say for sure. However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. I am quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. For your information, if you press the start button while on the world map, a menu window will appear that allows you to display which world you are in. Your home world or another world. Select on to display this. If what you say is true and this world really is an alternate reality, then why the bloody hell did Surge die? The reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. You can only find out by moving on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Le Lena can just be like, he drowned. He drowned. No way I'm going to let you out. Or wait, no way I'm going to let you. 
Ah, shut up, you little brat. Can I? Can I? I guess it cannot be helped. This may be fate in itself. Ah, uh, we ain't here to play jacks. I advise you not to take Marcy lightly. This child is one of the four devas, the highest rank of the Acacia Dragoons. What? This little brat? Hee <laughs> hee! Too late, too late now. Say bye bye! Starfreak359, thank you for the resub. Um, so we have one little challenge here, and that is that Marcy has two things to steal. One regu one common, one rare. And so the question is, do, <laughs> how badly do I want the rare steal? Uh oh. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm certainly gonna. Oh God. She hits like a freight train, and she has a lot of HP. At least Surge also hits like a freight train. Uh, I want to... Pilfer? Hmm. Okay, she's blue. Let's Magma Bomber. Hot dang. You think you're so smart? Well, how's this? Ah, oh, crap. What have you got in the tank? I don't know, pitch a tablet at who? Who's most in need of a tablet? I have no idea who- okay, I, I did toss that to Surge. All right, good. Oh, okay. She's hurting. Oh, no, she's hurting. Uh, one. Two. Defend. Defend. Why, you... That does it. Let kid live! Oh, no. Okay. Who's frozen? Heal. Heal does status effects. No, heal does not do status effects. Medicine. Flu and blue status effects! Convenient. Who's frozen? Oh, they're both frozen. Ah, oh, crap. Everybody heal. Okay, great. We're in much better place now. One. I still need to get a uh, kid unfrosted. Defend. Element. Medicine. There we go. Okay. Defend? 
Element. Pilfer. No! <laughs> well. Die, Marcy. You don't belong in this world. It's not over yet. I'll get you next time. Ho ho ho! I did not think you would be able to beat Marcy. Very well. I shall advise you of your next step. There are eight pillars standing in the main hall. Behind the second to the last pillar on the left is a button. To release... The platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it is best that you go up as you are. Beware, however. There is a much stronger being you will encounter. Okay. So, we did the thing. There's a pickup on the third floor. In the chest. Where's the switch? Show me the, the switch. The ladder dropping switch. Where's the ladder dropping switch? There's a switch! Push it! Push it real good. Surge found. Turn white. All right, so there's a save coming up, which is good, so I don't have to turn back. So, second to the last, second to last pillar on the left. Uh-oh. Huh? Who the... Hmm... You are a surge? You are even- <laughs> Oh god. You are even more sexy than I thought. Hoo la la. And who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> and this vulgar one must be kid. You disgust moi. <laughs> What'd you say? If you're gonna insult someone, you should at least speak, speak proper English. Je m'appelle Harl. <laughs> I am the right hand Harlequin to Monsieur Lynx. Serge, mon puce, if you lie down with a dog like this femme, you will surely catch fleas, no? I think you can do much better if you give her up. Actually, I suggest you all turn back. You should not defy him. Oi! What's your problem? Please, Mon Serge. I would hate to see anything sad happen to you. I've had it with you up to here. I've had it up to here with you. Ah, Taisevu, you shut up. I am having a serious conversation with Serge. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> That's it. Put up your dukes. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. You are the one who is going to have her derriere kicked, no? But alas, I cannot be caught fighting you here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. <laughs> Au revoir, mon Serge. See you again. And Serge, please dream of moi. 
Oui. <laughs> She's. What's her problem? I like that Lena's just sitting here through all of it. All right, so we have one, two, the second to last on the left. There's a switch. Push it! Ah! Oh, what do you think you're doing? You were almost a Jill sandwich. Wow. All right, then. Jeez, Laron. Hmm. We just gained a star, didn't we? Did we gain a star from Marcy? Did we gain a star for beating Marcy? Sure did. Okay, so I need to grind a little bit. I should definitely grind a little bit. Gotta max everybody out before we go into this next fight. But the platform is dro is lowered. Really, Surge? Really, Surge? needlessly drawing this battle out. <laughs> Zandai says I'm not showing this this battle system in its best light. What makes you say that? I haven't been using a ton of the, like elements, but they haven't been necessary. I'm, like, super strong. Can I fight you? I cannot. Okay. We can't go down looking like this! Oh, well, all right. There's just no more enemies. Push it! Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> like, why am I running in place? All right, so we're in a room. In this room, there should be a save point. Very good. Use the save point. There we go. I got another fight out of it. Excellent. 
Gotta get those levels up. Those are rookie levels. Gotta push those levels up. Thank you, Surge. Don't worry, you'll get to see me meteor a guy. Soon, in fact. Oh, Jib Cat wants a joke. All right. It doesn't really bother me that I can't shred cheese. I have greater problems. So hold up. I know the two parts of that joke are pulling in opposite directions. But it's okay. It's still funny. <laughs> I know you're saying that to point out the explicit fact that it's not still funny, but it's still funny. Oops. Oh. Uh-oh. You mean I could have been fighting these doors all along? Knock, knock. You're about to get shell shot. The Portal Geist, yes. That is what it's called. Well, it's, no, it's not that I didn't try to interact with the doors. Have you been watching the stream, Azandai? It's that I've been successfully evading them. Which I'm now realizing was a mistake. Oh dear. It birthed a bird. All right, door is dead. Uh oh, something happened. Kalanushka! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Bird's dead. Well, that's good. That means I get an additional level up here. Oh, except that I didn't get a level up at all. Uh, let's go fight the other door, though. Because if there's a second door to fight... I should fight it. I'll beat the hell out of this door. Did that fight drop an eyeball? I didn't notice. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's right. Don't summon anything. We're gonna murder you on this round of attacks. 
or it's gonna... How does a door dodge an attack? Oh, a beach bum. That's cute. Listen, door, would you please just die? There we go, thank you. What? There we go. <laughs> what do I get for pilfering a door? That's actually a good question. We haven't tried. All right, no further stat up, so I'm probably safe to uh, to continue. Let's save one last time. Hey, a pondering orb. All right, is there anything in this room I need to uh, search around the office? All right, orb. Let's ponder it. Oh, could this be? Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here either. I guess I better ask the general directly then. What is it you wish to ask me? My compliments on getting past my security. Now, may I ask you, who in heaven's name are you? Ah, so you're General Viper. Don't find ignorance on me now. Why did you send your dragoons to get me mate Surge here? Surge? My dragoons? I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. General, I believe these vermin are here to see me, nya. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I was specifically saving the Vegeta voice for Lynx, but then I did the the cat voice for the other demi-human. And now I think we're stuck with it. <laughs> All right, Asandai, you've won me over. General... I believe these vermin are here to see me, nya. <laughs> well, it seems like you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Nya. <laughs> Lynx? Young girl, are you... Oh, what's the matter? Cat caught your tongue. I finally caught you by the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things. The frozen flame and your life, you murderer. Aha. Uh -huh. So you must be kid then, yeah? A member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Radical Dreamers, correct? Yeah? Radical dreamers, this young lady? <laughs> Precisely, Nya. Don't let her innocence fool you, General. She is quite ferocious. Nya. <laughs> ha! Ferocious? My ass! After what you've done? I hate to disappoint you, Nya, but the frozen flame is not here, Nya. 
That fire lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, yeah? The place where past and future collide, yeah? All right then, it looks like I'll have to put that part off till later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, yes, Lynx is a like ever-present character in this game. He's like a major character in this game. He's like this game's version of Magus. Oh, damn! 156! Coming out of the gate strong! He's only got 820 HP! Lena, on the other hand. Here, have a meteor. Uh oh, white elements are unusable. Dodging, damn it. <laughs> That's just rude. Nostrum? What does that do? What? Uncalled for. Okay, now I gotta be careful. Because I don't want to accidentally kill him. Let's go. Nah! <laughs> Imbecile? Rude. Just checking. Yeah, Pilfer is unusable. Unfortunate. The dirt kick is, like, kid's most endearing animation, by far. It's just a good animation. Oh, Lita gets the kill shot! All right. We leveled up. We got a bunch of stats. Max healing. Spoils found the Pendragon Sigil. Um. Bugger, it was just a shadow. Did you think I would be stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog, Nya? Why, just a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you, Nya. Now, Surge, what do you desire from this world, Nya? 
Do you wish to live again, nya? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history, nya? What's wrong, Serge? Seems problematic. Listen to me, Nya. The end of the human world is nigh, Nya. When this time comes, Surge, there will be a deep enmity between you and the world, Nya. This is not speculation or prediction, Nya. This is history, Nya. Oh, that's a lot of shadows. Bugger, this doesn't look good. You cannot escape, Nya. There is something I want to ask you, Nya. Daddy, about that voyage I've been pl Ah! Don't move a whisker if you want this girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling Riddell, why you dirty... Shut up, old-timer. Our lives are at stake here. There ain't nothing dirty about saving your own life. Just stay calm and quiet. I won't hurt you, okay? I just need to come... I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. You all right, Serge? Come on, let's bust out of here. Apparently, it worked. Don't be, f don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? We're blocked in. You fiend! Take your dirty hands off, Lady Riddell. Uh, oh, uh, Alkai, what do you take me for, an idiot? Grrr. Surge, this why? But don't use our real names. We have you now, you vermin, Nya. There is no way out of here, Nya. Oh, bloody hell. Let's work out a deal. Release my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right. As if I can trust you. Are you willing to jump to your death, Nya? Look out! Ugh! What do you live for, Nya? What are you willing to die for, Nya? I've been waiting for you, Serge. Nya. Waiting a long, long time for you. Yeah. Oh, look at that hero model. Now come to me, Surge. Give to me the chrono trigger. Yeah. Come to me, Surge. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah.
The auto-progressing text boxes didn't go that fast in the original version of the game, I don't think. <laughs> I think it's because it's running on a PS3 that it's going fast. Can I save here? Oh, thank God. All right, well, that seems like a reasonable place to leave it. We'll find out what happened tomorrow. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who subscribes, everybody who follows, everybody who cheers, everybody who chats, and everybody who hangs out and lurks. It is a genuine thrilled stream for you, and I hope you have as much fun watching as I do playing. I will be back tomorrow. Same might... Same mat time, same mat channel here on twitch.tv slash wiggins. We will, of course, be playing... Hiccups. I don't know why I always get the hiccups. <sighs> we'll be playing Chrono Cross. We will be playing Chrono Cross. <sighs> until then, I... <laughs> until then, did I say same mic channel? Same Matt time, same Matt channel. Uh, am I mic now? Whatever. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Mike underscore LRR. You can check out the VODs over on my YouTube channel, which I linked for you in chat. Uh, <laughs> I have a Discord. I have a Discord. If you're a subscriber, you can join the Discord. You can you can do so by making sure your Twitch account and Discord account are linked in Discord's back end, uh, where, where my server will appear to you as if by magic. Yes, if you come to Discord, we look at pictures of golden retriever puppies the same size and consistency of their own stuffed animals. That's true. And uh, then, of course, <laughs> you're welcome, Ashton. Mike Wagons coming to you live here on twitch.tv slash Wiggins. Uh, I also have an Instagram that I haven't updated in months. And I have a letterbox that I updated as recently as two days ago. So you should follow me on Letterboxd, which, again, I've linked for you in chat. Uh, that's where my film diary goes. All right, so I'm going to go rest my throat because good lord. And uh, I'm going to throw to another channel. Uh, Funko. Funko. Funko? Funko. Funko. Everybody hop aboard this raid train. We're going to go raid Funko. Funko's playing Tarkov, as Funkos are wont to do. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go pay Funko a visit. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this evening. Thank you again, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow evening. Until then, so long and goodbye.